Okay, what I'm going to demonstrate today is how to set up ShareASale on your website through WebSpider.com. Now, the reason I like ShareASale so much is unlike other auction sites and pay per click sites where you pay for leads, you don't necessarily make sales. ShareASale will you only pay commission out on share sale if there's an actual sale so you really have nothing to lose unless of course you're already making money so it's a win-win situation here with share sale okay the first thing I need to do is set up a merchant account through share sale if you go to sharesale.com you'll see that page come up right here we're gonna sign up of course we're the merchant right here we're not an affiliate Okay, organization name. Now, for these fields, I'm just going to set samples. So, of course, you're going to fill this in with whatever your personal information is. Now, right here, you're going to want, you're going to, want to put the address of your actual web store. So, we'll put webspider.com. I've already set up a sample site here at sample site. If you haven't already created an account through WebSpider, you should have already done so. Go to webspider.com, create your free account, and then uh, set up your free web store. Okay, the next thing that's going to happen is you're going to get an email from ShareSale. Verifying that uh, it's a valid email. You want to check that. Okay, let's start with the first step. Step one, program description and commission rates. Click on that. Now this is all customary, you can read through it, set it up on your own time. Uh, there's nothing I can teach you here that's not self-explanatory. I'm going to go to step two, administrative options. Again, this is all personal preference. I'm going to go to step three. As you can see, I just got an email from ShareSale. I'm just going to pick something random just to demonstrate. Okay, now step four is the part where you actually have to go on WebSpider to set your settings. Here, this all the different shopping carts. We're using tracking code for PayPal. So, select that one. PayPal Web site payment standard is what we're selecting. I'm going to click here when we have completed the step. Now we're going to place the tracking code. Or I'm sorry. Now we're going to test the system. Okay, now before we hit click here for test, you'll notice a number up here that's our merchant ID up in the top right hand corner. Uh, in this case, it's 21204. Everyone's going to have a different number. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to go to Edit, Copy. And now we're going to go in our WebSpider control panel and tell WebSpider what our affiliate ID is. Go to our control panel by clicking on this button. Okay, now you can find your share sale setting right over here under your settings. Now this is all other information about your PayPal. Uh, 
you know, affiliate information or tokens, and PayPal email address. If you don't know how to get that information, you can check out my video on setting up downloadable products to your e-commerce web store. I do go over it in the middle of that tutorial. You might have to skip and jump through it, but it is in there. Okay. Now here's my ShareSell affiliate ID number. That's the number we just got off of ShareSell. Now if you look back at ShareSell, we have 21204. So you can either copy and paste. If I go up and I hit edit, paste, it'll go right in there. Or I can manually type it. 21204. We're going to hit save. And that's it. So now if we go back to ShareSell, now that WebSpider has our affiliate ID for ShareSell saved in there, we can go back to ShareSell and we can click click here for the test. What it's going to do is going to redirect us to our website, which is sample site, webspider.com forward slash sample site. And we're currently logged in. That's the only reason we see this menu up. But uh, if we weren't logged in, of course, we'd just see this. Now, I've already set up a sample purchase in here for a penny. Now, you might want to do the same. What ShareSell wants you to do is do a successful transaction so that it knows that your web store is successfully set up with a ShareSell code. Okay? So you're going to want to set up an example or a sample purchase. A penny is a good idea. That way you don't have fun just out of nowhere. Let's click on Add to Cart. Okay, we're going to proceed to checkout. Hit pay now. Okay, now we have to give it uh, a few seconds here. Wait for it to direct back to Web Spider. Now, the part where it directs back to Web Spider is actually the pace place right here where the tracking code will verify with share sale that there's been a successful transaction and you can't see it but I just got an email down there from ShareSale saying that you're good to go you'll see down here we'll have click here when you've completed the test there we go shows up right there in our control panel Okay, I believe our system's taking a little bit to update here, but um, within uh, probably an hour, hour to two, this little option right over here for test the system will disappear, and then we will uh, be able to access the next step, which is deposit funds, upload creatives, request activation. So, and if this doesn't activate right away, you can always give them an email and make them aware that you have successfully done this but like I said this is a great system because there's really nothing out of pocket you get free traffic unless of course it's a sale then you just cut people commission so really it's a win-win situation there is no cost per click fees or etc cetera, etc cetera. Uh, this is another demonstration by webspider.com if you have any questions please go to webspiderblog.com and then you can submit your questions up there I run a nice little blog for people so that people can read other people's questions and answers and you guys can sort of feed off each other for knowledge. And that's it.